As an experiment, I thought I would do a drawing for you just to show you how I move the, my hand around the page and how I begin. I don't really have an idea for this. I'll just start drawing. It'll be a character of some sort. It's got big ears, so let's make it a bunny. Notice I use a lot of round lines when I draw. That's just my style. You might prefer straight lines, and that's your option. This is what I would call a preliminary or first sketch. If I was doing something that was more like a final drawing, I might put layers of tracing paper over this and refine it. But for this demonstration, I'm using a pen so it doesn't really erase. I often use a pencil. And then I can erase, I can put lines down, go, oh, I don't love, like that line. And I could do a different kind of a line. I started drawing cute when I was in school and I would have my papers done and then have time and then I could do drawings since my work was done. And some of my other classmates said, could you draw me this or draw me that? And I would. I enjoyed it. Somebody might say, well, what makes something cute? Because, you know, I can draw cute and I can draw humorous or funny and I can draw realistic as well. Well, the cutest thing we know are babies, whether they're ba baby humans or baby animals. And so often when you think of that, if you make something that looks kind of babyish, then you're going to come out with a cute thing. So we're going to give this bunny a big bow tie. Really big. And sometimes it's fun to do exaggerate. So instead of just a tiny little tie or something, we'll give him a big one. Exaggerate. I'm going to give it polka dots. Polka dots are always fun. Strawberry Shortcake had some polka dots with her strawberry pattern, and there was polka dots with that as well. He's going to be waving to you all. And his other hand He's going to have a pencil because he wants to be an artist too. I'm a particular kind of an artist uh, known as an illustrator. So most of my art has a story that goes with it. So sometimes when I draw, I I am thinking, or maybe most of the time when I draw, I'm thinking of a story that goes with it. So when my kids were little, we had a number of pets, but one of her pets was a bunny that we named, named Cindy Lopier. She was very cute. Much longer ears than this bunny. We had iguanas, we had cats, and now I have 
two dogs, and we had birds too, a cockatiel that would talk to you. I do like animals. I don't know about you, whether you like animals. I think I'm going to give him polka dot in his ears too. Why not? I'm drawing. I don't have any rules right now. So I think for this demonstration, I'm about done. Now one thing I want you to remember when you're drawing or you have an artwork that you're creating, I need you to sign it. Signing is important and date it to the time you did it. So let's see where I could sign it that you could see in this video. I'm going to just sign it here. and date it. I'm just going to date the month. So I'm going to say 9, 2017. And there we have it. 